Okay, g'day, and welcome back to Bucks Outdoors headquarters. Last episode, we said goodbye to the old chimney, and this episode, we've got the new Buckmobile for you. So, uh, without any further ado, we've got our Captain America shirt on, because... We've gone American, and as you can see, we bought a Jeep. So let's just go for a quick walk around the new Buckmobile here and we'll have a look at some of the mods we've put on. We've got the ARB bull bar up the front there. Eventually we'll get some spotties on that because the headlights aren't much chop on these, uh, especially the high beam. <laughs> it's, it's disgraceful. Uh, we've put an AEV lift and we've got the um, BF Goodrich all-terrain tyres. They're the same tyres we had on the chimney but obviously a lot bigger. We've gone with the AEV snorkel as well. You may have seen on Moshi's Jeep, he's got a different brand which enters the body here and travels to the airbox underneath the wheel arch. Now he's got a disconnecting sway bar. He can get under there and disconnect that whenever he needs to for, to get more wheel travel. But he's found a couple of times that he's come very close to the tire touching the snorkel or um, you know, getting very close. So the AEV one keeps it nice and safe out of the way of the wheels there. And the induction note is beautiful on this thing matched with the big 3.6 litre V6 Pennastar engine. Um, Lots of power in this. The Jimny was 62 kilowatt. This is about 206 or something ridiculous. So hills aren't a, aren't a challenge for us anymore. Um, the only problem is she's very thirsty on the juice. But uh, that's the price you pay. Now you may have seen in a previous video, I've mentioned that I want to eventually get a camper trailer. So we've got the tow bar on the back here. Now at the moment that's underneath the number plate. But we do have a relocator kit to put this number plate up on the spare wheel so one day before we get a camper trailer we'll have to get that sorted now the only thing that really let me down on these new jeeps is the mud flaps the factory ones were absolutely useless so we've gone for this aftermarket double black welding mud flap kit it's been very reliable it was easy to install even a knucklehead like me could do it with only a little bit of swearing and uh, they've been pretty good and we'll just have a quick look at the interior all the mod cons, a lot more spacious than the Jimny, of course, a lot more comfortable for long trips. Cruise control, which was sorely missed on the Jimny. And uh, this has got the usual Bluetooth stereo you get in a modern car nowadays. Righto, we've been out a few times in the new Buckmobile, so here's some footage of when we spent a day out on the Noons Plateau. So this was the first obstacle we hit on the day and the first two vehicles made it through all this slush without a problem but unfortunately Munzee was just a bit unlucky there, got himself stuck, that's not a problem, hook up the snatch straps, Moshi drags him out of there. So next it's my turn and I'm thinking I'll be right, I'll just stick over here, I'll be fine. So as you can see I'm stuck pretty deep in there. We actually found out later we almost pulled that tyre off the rim. The Jeep has tyre pressure sensors, the reading appears on the dashboard and the front driver's side tyre over the next couple of months kept going down. So uh, I eventually took it to the tyre joint where we bought the tyres to make sure there wasn't a screw in it or something, I couldn't see one. But um, that's when he told us, yeah, we almost pulled the tyre off the rim and put some dirt in the seal. Your side step's going to touch.
that wheel's gonna hover. Beautiful. It has to keep it tight, but it's not just not just rolling down. Straighten them up, straighten them up. Uh, there's a good reason why I keep having to rev it and why everyone's saying, why is he revving it, what's going on? Uh, silly rookie mistake in the new vehicle. For this whole scene, I've got the bloody handbrake on. Steve's coming around with the GoPro. Righto, right. 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 you got to go that way a little bit. you got to go that way. That way, that way. So there you have it. There's the new Buckmobile. Uh, that uh, first incident was a little bit embarrassing, but uh, eh, what are you going to do about it? Anyway, uh, it's a very different kettle of fish to drive compared to the Jimny. The Jimny was only 62 kilowatt. This is 206. So uh, it's a huge power difference. And uh, it also seems when the Jimny used to lift a rear wheel, it used to seem to do it fairly easy, whereas this reaches a tipping point and it tends to just really hop up a lot like that. But um, that, that'll just take some more experience with it, just more getting used to it, uh, which we will do on our next episode of Bucks Outdoors. All right. Okay, so in the last episode, we said goodbye to our old Jimny, and now it's time to unveil the new Buckmobile. And this Captain America shirt's entirely appropriate because this time... We've gone American and we bought ourselves a Jeep. <laughs>